So me and Theo have headed off for the weekend on a little staycation adventure. Um, we have headed over to Herefordshire. Uh, we've, we're about 10 minutes, I think, 15 minutes from Worcester. Um, we're staying in a gorgeous glamping site called Brookhouse Woods uh, and we're staying in a little yurt for the weekend. So um, yeah, come along on our little weekend away. Guys, we have arrived at Brookhouse Woods and we've just met the lovely Tess who has checked in, shown us to our yurt and just given us a little bit of a tour. So I just wanted to do a bit of a yurt tour for you um, and show you around because this place is amazing. Um, we couldn't get more rural really. We're just outside Worcester, um, not far from the Mulvans and we parked our car down a little path down here and then had to walk about 200 metres um, into the woods um, to find our yurt. So it's over here you can see it behind me, so I'll do a little uh, room tour as such now. So we've got a little log burning stove and they've given us um, some logs as well so we'll get super cosy later on. Uh, a gorgeous double bed with the most adorable uh, fairy lights. Um, so yeah, this place is really cool and then we've got a little window which looks out onto the meadow as well and then we've also got an outdoor kitchen here um, Turn the lights on uh, So we can wash up, make cups of tea uh, There's also a fridge down here as well and I think just storage in here Yeah, cups and glasses etc and then the best bit about this is definitely glamping because then we've got our own toilet uh, and sink and shower as well which obviously you don't usually get when you go glamping this is our little yurt tour and this is our home for the weekend Good morning guys, we've just woken up after sleeping in our little yurt overnight, um, oh, yeah, slept well, um, I slept okay, it's the first night in months that we've slept somewhere that isn't our own bed um, because of lockdown and then this morning obviously the sun as you can see behind me, the sun just came through this tent um, and the tent also has a, a hole like a see-through transparent space in the top of the tent um, so you can see out to the stars which is lovely but not at 5am in the morning when um, the sun rises um, so yeah it was super cute and we've woken up to the sound of the birds and stuff but um, yeah I uh, did have to sleep a little bit longer this morning and I have a towel uh, which I put over my face this morning once the sun came up because I needed to I need complete darkness to be able to sleep so but yeah ready for a good day Theo just bought me a cup of coffee uh, yeah um, we are going hiking today so I'm excited to get outside into nature and go get some fresh air. The place that we're staying in at Brookhouse Woods also has um, some other types of accommodation and we've just come to such a cool one. Uh, this is the goji berry. Um, I'll take you in now. It's literally suspended, I don't know if you can see above the ground so when you get in it like moves around and stuff so yeah this is amazing though we've just arrived in the Malvern Hills and we are doing a roundabout an eight kilometer round circular hike um, from the Upper Beacon Car Park 
um, all the way up to the Worcestershire Beacon and then back. So uh, yeah, I'm going to bring you along with me today. Uh, we've just stopped off a little way past car park just on a bench because there's the most amazing views. finished our hike uh, it took about two and a half hours in the end uh, it's about eight kilometers uh, and we're back at the car and we're gonna go and try and find somewhere to get a takeaway pint before heading back to our yurt to relax for a few hours chill time back at the yurt but now we've come to the woodland cinema um, and Thea's just got it set up so I just thought I'd show you how magical this is because there's a tiny little woodland walk down to our little space where we've got a pull down projector screen uh, and we've just put on avatar and we've got the woodland cinema for about two and a half hours so we've got a drink and we're gonna chill Farmyard pigs, they're on their way. Can you see them? Come over here. We've just checked out of our yurt. Uh, we had a lovely weekend. We um, loved being in nature. It was a little bit windy last night, so we didn't get to sleep very well. Um, so that's the only downfall, I guess, of being in a in glamping accommodation. Um, but yeah, we had a really fun time, and now we are off to go home via the Cotswolds. Our first stop of the day is at Broadway Tower. Uh, and then head on to Stow on the World, see if Dalesford Farm is open um, and grab some treats and then head home for the weekend. 